Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and in this video I'm going to talk about ISO. This is kind of a basic beginning photography series to tell all you beginners out there the basics of photography and how to kind of get started at the exposure triangle. So what ISO is, or ISO as a lot of people like to call it, is the camera sensitive sensitivity to light. Photography is all about uh, manipulating light and letting light work for you. And so uh, when your camera needs more light, you need to increase your ISO. When your camera doesn't need as much light, you can bump your ISO down. And uh, so that, that's kind of represented in this chart here. So normal camera ISO ranges are 100, 200, 400, 800, and so on and so forth. And so what that means is the lower the number, the less sensitive your camera is to light. The higher the number, the more sensitive it is to light. And so as you can see here, if you have your camera set to ISO 100, your camera is less sensitive to light. Uh, it will capture less light. It won't let as much light uh, affect the, the scene. More light would be needed to have a good exposure, quote unquote good exposure, and it will have less noise. And so if you have to bump your ISO up to higher and higher and higher, uh, you're going to get the ability to have more light come into your sensor. Uh, it'll capture more light. You're going to have less light needed for a good exposure, but you will have more noise, and that is the drawback. So when would you need to have an ISO of 100? Normally these are shot on bright, bright situations like if you're taking a landscape photo and it's a very sunny day outside uh, su sunrise sunset stuff like that you're gonna have to uh, just keep it at 100 and you'll probably be fine because the the light coming into your sensor is greater but if you have to bump your ISO up the those those conditions are normally uh, when you need more light to come in and so uh, nighttime photos is kind of a kind of a, a, a situation where you would need more light to come in to capture a good scene if you have your ISO set to 100 and it's uh, dark outside, then you're going to have a very dark scene. It might even just be a black box and that's it. And so uh, the main drawback of bumping your ISO would be noise. And, and that's a noise grain, image grain, stuff like that. So as you can see here, we have a sporting event here, and it's sh and this photo is shot at 100 ISO. It's perfect. It has no noise whatsoever. But as we increase the ISO on your camera to around 3,200, 6,400, even 12,800, more noise is added to the scene, and this can really distract from how the good quality photo can be for your uh, for your photo there. So that is the main drawback, and that's a lot of a reason a lot of people try to play with their ISO and not have it go up any higher than it's needed. Uh, but sometimes, you know, depending on the scene, if you have a lot of noise, uh, that's just that's just what the image is going to have. Sometimes you won't be able to have as much light coming in, coming in, and you'll just need to have your your camera sensor very sensitive, and and you're just going to have noise. So that is the basics of what ISO or ISO is in photography. Uh, that th this is just only one part of the exposure triangle. We have two more parts to go, but I'll talk about that in a separate video. So this is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I'll see you in the next one.